Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. Um, I'm just here to talk a little about death. Weird subject, eh? Not so really. But the reason why I want to talk about death is because um, last week I had a death in my family. And um, boy, that shit hurts. When it's somebody like that's really so close to your heart and so close to you, it, it's a different feeling, you know? Um, it's a different pain. Because right now, like, I'm feeling a different type of pain. I am a nurse and... Um, you know, I'm in the field of working with um, the elderly, and, um, you know, I deal with death a lot because I have residents that are um, old and, you know, some of them, they die. But, like, when it's someone so close, like I said, like, it's, it's a different feeling. Like, yeah, it's a different feeling, and... Um, you know, I don't know, you guys see my eyes getting watery because, like, this shit hurts, yo. Um, anyways, last week, um, <clears throat> my mom called me and it's just so weird because she called me at, like, it's not really weird, but she called me at 6 in the morning. And the reason why I say weird because, like, every weekend I work. And this weekend, well, last weekend, I didn't work. I didn't get a shift. And that was a, that was the first time in, like, how long that I was actually off on a weekend. So, anyways, so I said, okay, okay, I'm, I'm off Saturday. I'll just sleep in. Well, I didn't sleep in because 6 in the morning, Saturday morning, my mom called me screaming, crying, telling me my grandmother passed. And, oh, my God, like, I didn't even hear what she said. All I heard was granny and pass. And, like, I just, I went off. I don't even know how I got to her house. I don't even know how I got the kids ready. And, but I got to her house in, like, literally less than, like, 15 minutes. Um, yeah, my grandmother passed on Saturday, September 15th. And um, she was 92 years old, so she was she was pretty old, you know, but my grandmother was in good health and strength. Um, it's shocking to me, like not it's not so shocking, but it's shocking to me because she wasn't sick. Um, yeah, she wasn't sick. She was in good health and strength, you know, but um, I guess it was her time to go. And um, and I can't question God because, you know, everybody has to go at one point. Everybody has to go. Nobody lives forever. So I can't question God. My grandmother lived a fabulous life. Um, oh God, I don't have tissue. My grandmother lived a fabulous life. Uh, my mom took care of her for, for many years. Till now, you know. And uh, my mom, she did a good job. Because my grandmother was in good, in good health and strength. Like I said, like... My mom never put her in a nursing home. She was always living with my mom, you know. And um, like I said, like, I shouldn't be crying because my grandmother felt like she went to bed and she just, she just didn't wake up. And, um, you know, like, that's everybody's dream. That's exactly what my grandmother did. Like, she went to sleep. And um, she didn't wake up. And uh, that Saturday when my mom called me and I got to her house, I ran out my car. I parked it, obviously, and ran out my car. I left my kids in the cars. 
my my brother well my sister-in-law had to go get my kids ran straight upstairs to my grandmother and when you seen her face um she just looked so peaceful that's what makes me feel a little bit better because it's like it's not like she was suffering it's not like she was in a hospital suffering you know like she just literally went to sleep and didn't wake up like god called for her and she just went you know the reason why i heard so much because like i was close with my grandmother um very close with her and like how i see it is like she just checked out on us without any warning without even a goodbye she didn't say goodbye and she just checked out on us like that. This shit hurts my heart. I never thought I would feel such a pain like that. Like, I experienced heartbreak, but goddamn, like, this pain is like a different type of pain. Like, and I don't know how long it's gonna take until I get over this. But as they say, it takes time, right? I just want to get, you know, stuff off my chest. Well, like, I can't question God. They, I know, like, they say everybody has to go one day. And, you know, my like I said, my grandma was at age. Sometimes I ask myself, like, why do people go? Like, why do people die? <sighs> Especially, like closest people to you like this was a shocker like it was so sudden like I said it's not like she was sick and it's something I could prepare myself for you know it's not like she was in a hospital and I'd be like okay well you know what she's in the hospital I have to prepare myself that she's gonna pass like she was not sick and she didn't even give us any time like she just checked out on us you know um I'm just glad that she got the chance to meet all her great grands. Like, I'm so glad for that. And, you know, Granny, if you are listening to me right now, just remember that I love you so much. And, um, you know, I will we'll meet again one day. Hopefully not soon, <laughs> but one day, you know, I know we'll meet again. Oh, pardon. <laughs> I didn't bring tissue. I'm snorting. My nose is like stuffy. Oh my God. Wow. Anyways, um, the hardest part for me is seeing her for the last time. It's going to be the hardest part for me, but um, hope you guys have any type of encouragement. Please comment below. Um, you know, pray for me and my family because I need it. I know I have to be strong because I have three little girls, but right now it's just a time in my life that like I just don't know if I'm going or coming. I miss my grandmother already and it's only been a week. You know, I haven't really been talking about it. Like, I've been bottling it up inside, and I know that's not good. I need a lot of prayers for me and my family, especially my mom, because this is, like, the hardest time for her right now. She's already going through other things in her life right now, and, like, this is another situation that just hits her, you know, so... Pray for my family, guys. Um, Thank you for watching my video, and... um. I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks. Though I'm missing you, I'll find a way to get through. Living without you, cause you were my sister, my strength, and my pride. Only God. May know why still I will get by.